Hello everyone, welcome to Dev Tamin. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment down below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SCSS or SAT in Laravel with Vite. So actually Laravel 9 come with Vite directly. You will see Vite over here. It support Vite directly instead of a mix. Okay, in order to uh, use SAT, you need to go to resources. Right click, create new folder name is scss then right click and create a new file app.scss okay this is the css files that we are going to use with uh, blade so the next step you need to go to vconfig.js next we are going to include these files app.scss over here you put resource and then scss and app.scss then we go to blade so just remove this one this is a default uh, html the welcome page html of uh, laravel okay remove this one the next step that you have to do is to install sats preprocessor okay go to terminal and new terminal so let me open google chrome if you go to v document and go to features and go to CSS over here and then you will see that uh, V does provide built-in support for SCSS but the corresponding preprocessor itself must be installed so you need to install by running this command npm add dash d set but first of all you need to type npm install Next, you need to type this command npm add dash d sas. npm add dash d sas. Okay, then type npm run dev to compile the bundle. And over here in blade files, you need to include vid add vid. Okay, you have to include a uh, these files so you can include only these files or you can include all of them okay or you can do it like this if you want to include CSS in these uh, blade files CSS app CSS if you want to include JavaScript you can copy this one and paste this over here as well it will include all these three files into front end okay all right let's go to welcome blade.php i will create a, a sample html over here to see if sas is working class container h1 hello sas okay let me run PSP artisan serve to run Laravel server. Okay, let me open this one. You will see that hello says over here. All right, let's put some styles over here. Container, background color, green. Okay, then put H1 inside container and then put font size 20 pixel and then font styles italic okay save and let's see if it's work okay this work all right this is all about this video and if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and comment down below thank you so much for watching